Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the periodontal ligament fiber groups. So what we are going to study in this lecture, we are going to study the PDL fiber bundles. So the PDL fiber bundles, they are classified into two groups. So we will study the principal fiber group, principal fibers, and we will study the gingival fibers as well. So at the end of this lecture, there's a small activity. So participate in, the, in that activity and watch this lecture till the end. As I had mentioned, the periodontal fiber bundles, they are arranged into two groups. One are the principal fiber group. So principal fiber groups are those fibers that are on one end, they are embedded into the cementum. And on another end, they are embedded into the alveolar bone. So this is a picture of the longitudinal section of a molar. In this picture, you can see some of the fibers, they are embedded in one end into the cementum and on another end, they are embedded into the alveolar bone. So these fibers, they are known as principal fibers. There are second group of fibers and those fibers are known as the gingival fibers. So gingival fibers, they mostly originate from the cementum or the alveolar bone and they insert into the gingiva. So in this picture, you can see the gingival fibers, they originate from the cementum and they are embedded into the connective tissue of the gingiva. So the principal fibers, the principal fibers, they are divided into five different groups. So we will study those groups one by one and I'll show you each of the group, each group in the picture. So the first uh, fiber group in the principle is the alveolar crest group. So alveolar crest fibers, they originate from the crest of the, they originate from the cementum below the cemento enamel junction. So this is a picture. So these fibers, they originate below the, from the cementum, just below the cemento enamel junction, and they insert into the crest of the alveolar bone. So these fibers are the alveolar crest fibers. The, the next fiber are the horizontal group of fibers. The horizontal fibers, they are present just below the alveolar crest group and they run at right angle to the long axis of the tooth. So in this picture, you can see the horizontal group, they are present just below the alveolar crest fibers. So these are the horizontal fibers. They are at 90 degree to the long axis of the tooth. The third group of principal fibers are the oblique group of fibers. These fibers, they originate from the cementum and run in an oblique direction and insert into the bone coronally. So these fibers, they also orig originate from the cementum below the horizontal group and they insert into the alveolar bone in a coronal direction, in an upward direction. So these fibers, these oblique group of fibers, these all are the oblique group of fibers and these fibers are the most numerous or these fibers are more in number as compared to the other principal fibers. So now the next fiber group in the principal uh, fiber group is the apical group. So as the name shows, apical, it means it is present at the apex of the tooth. So these fibers, they originate from the cementum at the root apex and insert into the alveolar bone. So here you can see at the base of the socket, uh, these fibers, they originate from the cementum at the root apex and insert into the 
bone of the into the base of the alveolar socket so these all are the apical group of fibers the next group of fibers and the last in the principal group are the interradicular group so the interradicular group of fibers they originate from the uh, from the interradicular cementum and insert into the interradicular septum so this is the interradicular cementum so from here these interradicular group of fibers they originate and they embed into the into the interradicular septum of the alveolar bone so these fibers are the interradicular group of fibers so these interradicular fibers group of fibers they are only present in the multi rooted teeth it means they are only present in the molars and in case of the first premolars when it has two roots so it, it is only present in the multi rooted teeth only now we will discuss the gingival group of fibers so similar to the principal fibers the gingival group of fibers gingival group fibers are also arranged into five groups and those five groups are dento gingival it means it originate from the cervical cementum to the lamina propria of the gingiva so for example in this picture you can see dento gingival it means it originate from the cementum and it, it it is inserted into the connective tissue of the gingiva so this purple purple color fibers are the dento gingival fibers they are the most frequent fiber like the oblique fibers in the principal group in the, among the gingival fibers the dento gingival group of fibers are the are more in number as compared to the other gingival fiber groups uh, gingival fibers the next is the alveolo gingival fibers the alveolo gingival fibers they originate from the alveolar crest and ex and they extend into the lamina propria of the gingiva so here you can see the alveolo gingival it means this is the alveolar bone so alveolo gingival so from here these fibers they originate and they insert into the connective tissue of the gingiva so this orange color fibers are the alveolo gingival fibers The next group of fibers are the circular group of fibers. So circular group of fibers, they are small group of fibers and they form a band around the neck of the tooth. So these are the circular fibers and circular fibers now, they form a band around the tooth. So these all are the circular group of fibers. There's another group of fibers uh, among the gingival group and that is known as the dentoperiosteal. It means they also originate from the tooth and insert into the periosteum of the bone. So it extends from cementum and insert into the alveolar process but into on the outer cortical plate instead of the inner surface of the alveolus. So this gray color this gray color fibers, they are the dentoperiosteal fibers and they insert into the outer cortical plate of the, alve of the alveolus. Now, the last group of fibers among the gingival is the transeptal fibers. The transeptal fibers, uh, they extend from cementum of one tooth or, and then those fibers they pass over the alveolar crest and insert into the cementum of the other tooth so in this picture you can see so these fibers they originate from the cementum and they pass over the alveolar crest and they insert into the adjacent tooth and similarly this process continues in the lower arch and similarly in the upper arch 
that's why these fibers are known as the interdental ligaments and these fibers they connect all the teeth in a dental arch so the remodeling in, in these fibers are very slow that's why after orthodontic treatment retainers are given so if the retention period is not sufficient the, te the teeth they try to go back into its original position and that we call it uh, called as relapse of the teeth and these fibers uh, they are associated with orthodontic relapse now there's a small activity for you and in the comments you have to write what is one two three four and five so write in the comments uh, your answers and i'll personally i'll reply to you if your answer is correct thank you very much uh, do give us your feedback in the comments and do participate in our in our activity as well thank you